Welcome back. Well, a man who went from military hero to enemy of the state, Major Matthew Goldstein, a former decorated Green Beret, facing murder charges from his own government after being accused of killing a Taliban bomb maker. He joined us in February for his first TV interview since the charges, along with his wife, Julie. We conducted an ambush. Yeah. I conducted an ambush. What is our basic mission? Those routine combat actions are now being characterized as murder. This is wrong, what they are doing to him. Matt served this country, and he loves this country, and he deserves so much more. That was February. Joining us now with an update on her husband's case is Julie Goldstein. Julie, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, if you would, update us on the case. I believe there was supposed to be a deadline recently that the Army once again moved. Yeah, there was supposed to be a motions hearing in August that was postponed now until the week of September 9th, um, the first pretrial or motions hearing. Why? After 10, um, after 10 years, why? I. Who knows? Who knows? Um, if we can count on one thing from the prosecution and the investigators and the leadership of the Army, it is that they will always do the wrong thing. That's, that's all we can count on in this. Again, um, again, the question to that is why? And, 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 and so, but let's break this down even further. The sure. personal aspect of this, you, yes. your husband, what you've been dealing with a, with a process where you were initially cleared, then retried, and here you are again with an endless process. Your, your husband is more or less confined to Fort Bragg. Yes. Uh, he's not able to work his civilian job. He's been stripped of his, of his uh, Silver Star and his Special Forces tab. How is he doing? How are you doing? You know, it is, it is agonizing. Um, and quite frankly, terrifying to have your life played with and your family future, your family's future manipulated by people who are just truly depraved and at the same time, unbelievably incompetent. Um, Matt and I are real people. We have children to raise. Matt's 13 year old son lives in our home full time. Matt will this week. He will miss his uh, first day of school, first week of school. He missed almost his whole year, uh, first year of middle school last year. We have a very puzzled 11 month old who loves when his daddy's home and is awfully confused um, when he leaves for periods of time to be at Fort Bragg for no other reason than the jollies of a lieutenant colonel. Absolutely. Um, you, you say it, it's effectively wreaked havoc on your life. It has. It is It is affecting our health. It is affecting our family. It is. It, it, it just it creeps into every portion of your life when this what we have been told is a fair, just process is weaponized to destroy you. They have continued and still to this day continue to do the most unethical and illegal things. They have weaponized this process. They have even weaponized other agencies of the government by, falling, by filing um, falsified documents with the IRS. And now we all of a sudden have a tax bill for money that we never received. It's, it's amazing. Wow. Wow. They know no all, bounds. All this, Julie, when the U.S. Marine Corps commanders tactically in charge of your husband on the ground in Marja, Afghanistan at the time, accepted his decision making and supported his decision making. At that moment, he was cleared once before. Are they presenting new evidence? So, so they're coming after you. Do they have anything new? So as we have maintained since Matt was charged in December of, of last year is that there is no new evidence. He has been investigated now twice. He has been cleared once after a six day hearing. They have no new evidence. General Milley, who was just confirmed as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, personally communicated to generals Kenneth Tovo, who is now retired, and General Francis Baudet, the current, uh, Matt's current commanding general of USASOC. Um, he personally communicated to take action on Matt which is the very definition of unlawful command influence. So everyone was worried about Trump possibly getting involved when the general himself is involved in this. Well, we'll see, if, we'll, we'll see if we can get a statement from General Milley. I, mean, that I would is love a, that's to because he, they, they will not talk to our attorneys. The three generals involved have refused to, dis, to um, discuss the case with the defense counsel. Now, if they have nothing to hide and they truly believe that my husband murdered someone in cold blood, then they should have no problem justifying their stance. My husband had no problem in a CIA polygraph talking about his experiences yes. because he did nothing wrong. Absolutely. And you know what? After four years of investigation, the army itself agreed. Yes. But now here we are. Here we are with no new evidence and they're dragging right. your family No new evidence. And, and these, this coward prosecutor, Joseph Mormon, and his, his colleague, Brent Goodwin, they are actually refusing to identify witnesses to the defense counsel. They are refusing to turn over evidence. One witness they have actually failed two polygraph tests. So 
I don't mean I to mean, laugh, but it's all, it's, I, it's, it's so absurd. You almost Pete, feel like you need to. The uh, first it, time that I came on the show, I told you it, it would be funny if it wasn't yes. so serious that my husband faces life in prison. That is the minimum punishment. We'll let you, there's let, no 20 years. There's no deal. It's life in prison. Well, we, we're going to stay on this case. Keep us updated on updates. Give us give my best and our best to your husband. And we're going to ask that question of General Milley. Thank you. I'm going to know why that uh, has not happened. Thank you very much and for your time, you Julie. And when you know, please tell us. God bless. We will do. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you.